Hello everyone and welcome back to the Taiko Coliseum. Today we have a match between Miku Hatsune Girl 10 and MHK05 on a 3-2 pool. My name is Taiko-san and I am joined by Orkizumi for commentating today. Hello. So these two players are fairly well known within the Coliseum. They've played a bunch of matches before. I believe MHK is actually just coming back after uh, being focused on school, having finally finished that. It'll be interesting to see how well they perform as we uh, just try to get this client fixed, because tournament client, totally functional. Players are in BGPS, and Miku is actually a part of the writing team, which has uh, top three, third place. Right, and MHK was uh, Singapore, if I remember correctly? Yep. So once we get this fixed, we should be heading into the first warm-up. I don't know whose warm-up this is. Light my name, the song that's playing. We got two meters. Current client, totally functional. That is the team from the 2v2 match yesterday. Yes. You should go watch the walk a lot, especially nice a pretty match. good match. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are correct, it is Blood My Name, that is the difficulty. KTYN map. Speed! Uh, laser clients. Things happen with updates, and uh, we're trying to get things fixed here. Okay, that that's working. Now it's just the teams that are wrong, but that we can see it's Mikuhatsune versus MHK5. So it's fine as we head into the first warm up. Both players with no fail. Oh, I can understand why. This map is 5.8 stars. I completely understand the no fail has a considerable amount above the star rating of the pool that we're going to be playing 3 2 here. Through the warm up, Miku has an with a slight edge here, but both players are having a lot of trouble on these longer patterns. The higher, slightly higher SP. 
Ooh, and the 1 6 as well. I can understand why this map is 5.8 stars, but if this is what players need to get warmed up, so be it. Definitely a difficult map. Yeah, I don't think I could pass this, but that's me. Taking a quick look at each of these players, MHK has a lot of Nomad and a lot of uh, HR in their top place, so it's quite possible that they're more comfortable on HR compared to HD or DT. Miku has a lot of Nomad plays, but she's actually pretty uh, well versed in HD and HR. Yeah, there's a couple of HD and, or uh, rather, DT and HR plays to their top plays, but they don't seem to farm mods. And not that rank is really anything. These players are actually pretty close in rank. MHK at 3.6k, and Yuki Katsumi is 4k. So hopefully we see a nice close match here. With Miku Katsune Girl taking the first warm up. Oh no, this map is a farm map. <laughs> I remember uh, seeing this. You all this... know this song. Yeah, Senmonzaka. This map is one of the. According to a website I saw, or. A while ago is one of the most overweighted maps around the 200 pp rating range. Okay then. Like it's second or third to Education Muzu and then like one other map I don't remember. This song is like the Taiko song. <laughs> like. Oh, and yes, the channel predictions are up. Put your uh, channel points towards Miku Hatsune Girl or MHK winning the match. Unless you're in a country where your government doesn't like that, in which case, well, sucks to suck. Move! Move countries. Do it for the channel points. Actually, going hard rock on this one. Yeah, understandable. Aside from like one long stream about two thirds of the way through the map, it's a pretty simple pattern wise map. And it's OD5 based, so it's relatively easy to act compared to other farm maps. And yes, as Rayfan mentions, the map sets by Fierce, even if this is a GB by Mint. Mint being uh, Mint on 89, actually. Audio. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just, a, that's just a Discord. Discord audio sometimes randomly degrades for no reason, then gets back to normal. I love Discord. MHK with the first break, but the mod advantage is keeping them afloat right now, despite Miku Hatsune's girls' uh, ninety-nine point nine percent accuracy. I believe it's roughly a 2% score 
score difference that, uh, well no, it's 6% at overall, but halfway through the map, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I should stop. <laughs> mod advantage things. I don't know Indeed. about them because I never have a mod advantage. Just imagine HDHRing or modding when the opponent is playing no mod. Yep, there's a stream with the... Was that one six? Oh, and... what the? Miku misses after. Yeah, that's a really random miss, but both players hit the hard stuff and then randomly miss after. Yep, that section was pretty much the only difficult part of the map, as much as I remember. So the rest of this map is fairly free. Surviving to the warm-up? I guess so. Uh, I'm not... He's a huge fan of Miku and that kind of voice, so you do yeah, you. How could you say that about Miku? <laughs> uh, fairly easy, I just did. Oh, Mr. Shadow gifting subs again. Oh, he's on Oh, I got it! Let's go! <laughs> yep. If that was MHK's warm-up, I don't know if it was, but they took each their respective warm-ups. Alright, time to spam my newly earned emotes. Alright, so we should be getting into warm-up now. Yes. Wait, you mean the match? <laughs> yes. Rolls, that's what I'm thinking of. 3-2, we're seeing this pool again. Oh, this was Miku's warm-up. Oh, okay. A 52 from MHK, and I did not catch Miku's roll, but it seems to be lower because they're banning first. HR1, the high scroll speed HR is gone. Miku and high school speed is not a good combination. Yeah, <laughs> I can completely understand. Ark is so aggressive. MHK, you're banned! Alright, HD1. Okay, we we kind of saw that one coming. HD1's yeah. gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a nightmare to play. Yep. I have a feeling a lot of oh, players yeah. are either going to ban it or just mutually agree not to pick it. Yeah. Sh have you seen a uh, short score on HD1? Yes. And I know I'm, I'm going to have to ban it against them. <laughs> it's very bizarre. And instantly, DT2 from MHK, Speed DT, introduction. Yay. The Coma C map set, but it's a U68 diff, so it's not as, uh, I don't know, I kind of sent for Coma C. Wow! Alright, we're starting. Based on these player skill, this should probably be just an act battle. Maybe. I don't know if either of these two are speed monkeys, but we'll have to see once the screen swaps over, that is. There we go. Alright, they have the same phone, so no one missed. 
probably. Honestly, I preferred this map when it was uh, HR in the two level two week three pool. That was fun, but here DT, uh, I guess Miku that's the only we all first miss. Going into the first chorus, this is going to give MHK a slight advantage. Slight advantage if you pass the one third way through the map. Oh, but accuracy. Careful not to get score v2 to MHK. If Miku can continue to build her accuracy, then uh, she can take the lead. Yeah, MHK's accuracy right now is what's giving Miku the advantage, despite missing earlier. But it's still quite close. We're heading to the last quarter of the map. Okay, yeah, this section with weird snapping. The comm section and then the chorus. And Miku has to go hold on to their combo now. They built up enough to come back with the accuracy. MHK gets score v 2 and we have a breakpoint yeah. right off the bat for Miku Hatsune Girl. Gets the FC, but uh, Miku's act was pretty good. Yep, Miku Hatsune Girl won this game. Yeah, so that was MHK's pick. What are we going to see from Miku Hatsune the Girl? Hmm. Both players seem to have a little bit of experience with HR, so could we see the second HR right off the bat? Or will we see maybe a no mod? HR2 scroll speed is not that bad, so possibly. Yeah, there are a couple of patterns that are really difficult though. There's a one six pattern that comes out of nowhere. Oh yeah, there's that one dreamy part. DT one. Okay. Wait, again. circus? Is that what it is? No, Epona. No, no, no. Circus sorry, is I think you went on Apple. <laughs> yeah, circus is three one. It's a Epona oh, is a far map. It's kind of like a nomad ish. Yeah, accuracy battle. And of course, it's more turn client issues. A little unrelated, but uh, let's talk about the three mods. Uh, Miku is known for like going HDHR in BGTS, so maybe we'll get to see some HDHR on the free mod. If free mod one gets picked, that's quite possible since it's yeah, yeah. kind of a free map. And uh, maybe HR or maybe FM two, but it's a little fast on HR. I don't see them going HDHR on Gypsy Tronic though. Hmm. All these pre mods are based on these six, though, so it's going to be a little bit tougher for HR. As we just wait for the tournament client to restart, because functional things are Peppy's specialty. Indeed.
Don't you hate it when laser updates break everything? Is it working? Question mark? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, the song just starts very quiet. It does look like we're ready to go here into GT1. Also, him, another uh, subscriber to the channel. Three months, thank you. Early act, man. So, MHK, I'm not sure if they were playing GDKK or KDDK right now, as they were planning on switching, but I can't tell by their taps. I can't, that's something I can't tell. Building act to 99%. Yeah, Maker's DT act is actually pretty impressive. Halfway through the map. Kilatania Girl still with the 99%. MHK built back up to 98, but it's not enough to compete yet. They'll need a miss from Kilatania Girl if they want to uh, take this point as it stands now. There's nothing too difficult in this map, so a like nerve miss or something. Mm -hmm. And for what we've seen in the past, these players don't get nerve misses that often, they seem pretty confident in their play. We'll have to see if that changes later on in the match. Both players on FC still as we get the last quarter of the map. If I could play DT, I would definitely try to farm this, but but I can't. And as we come to the close of the map, both players still holding strong. And both players do look like they're going to break the 1 million points. Oh, oh no, I miss you with the miss. Unfortunate, but yeah. Miku at Girl would have had it on accuracy anyways. And that's two points off the, off the break from uh, Miku at Girl. Off to a strong yes, start. Me. But that's both DT you now. Both DT gone. So, if that was Mika Hatsune Girl's plan for the map, for the match, uh, there's only two. It's possible they picked other Nomad maps, and instantly Nomad Four from MHK, three fifty seven Magnum, and Ark. No, you don't have to copy paste the Wikipedia page. That's my gimmick. Please don't. Oh. <laughs> Or tech techie. Yeah, odd oh, snapping. Okay. I don't. There's a little bit of SP, but it's nothing too out. Like nothing too cripping up. Sort of words are hard. It's mostly the snapping that makes this map difficult. There's just this one pattern in here. So I don't know if you'll see FCs. 
and I mentioned it in the past match, but previous match. But uh, the standard diffs on this set are often used in tournaments as well. Oh, actually, Miku mentioned to me that she was practicing this. Uh, she uh, mastered that one pattern. Maybe this will be a strong, strong Miku. Also, is a fair bit shorter than the. Oh, I was saying it was a bit shorter than Miku today. Unfortunate early miss. And the act drop. Yes, Maggie, that is the Wikipedia page for the 357 Magnum. Oh, hey, we could hit it, but MHK unfortunately not. So now it Still might come down to accuracy. Gap, yeah. It might come down to accuracy and how much of a combo Miku at Sunny Girl can build up now. Oh, oh, oh KKK no! KKK DK! She had the lead, but. KKK DK. It's that stupid pattern. Gets the best of us, and again. Man, it's tripping up. Yep. It is not a fun pattern. And MHK increases their lead just by being able to hit KKKDK. Maybe DDKKK? No, I'm DDKK and I can't hit that pattern. And MHK takes the first point, their first point of the match. Miku actually did pretty good uh, to act, but the misses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only eight one hundreds actually. So that would have been well above ninety nine without the misses. Oh yeah, less one hundreds and misses. You hate to see it. Yep, just some tricky patterns in this map. Actually, HD2, yeah. Very plausible. Yeah, she's saying, yeah. <laughs> come pick HD and end me. Yes, I guess. And... Yeah, this map is fun, but there's one long really pattern. Well. There's one long pattern before the chorus that I have to actually practice, but yeah, otherwise, it's not that bad of a map. Some pattern HD. Mm -hmm. Pro probably want to practice a no mod before the next match just so I can memorize the pattern. Yeah, for sure. Early accuracy to Miku at Tsunigo, but MHK did mention that they're gonna die on HD, so we're already seeing that their accuracy. Pattern right there, MHK misses on it. I still don't know what it is. Mika has a strong lead even after missing. Yep. A little bit of an unfortunate break, but the accuracy and well, their max combo at this point still quite outdoes MHK. Thankfully, though, this is the only HD map left since HD1 was banned. So Miku Asunigo won't be able to get free points off MHK on the rest of HD map because there are none. MHK 
MHK is just crumbling under this map. Yeah, HD is definitely something that all not all players are uh, strong at. And looking at the bar, it does look like MHK is actually hitting a lot of these notes early. So that might be also issue. Yeah, an issue they have with hidden. You got seen a girl blending nerves for their misses. And we're at 3 1 right now, going into uh, MHK's next pick. Even with nerves, that's still a pretty good score. Mm hmm. Will we see no mods, free mods, or are we gonna pick HR2? Clean score. Wow. <laughs> Shall we see? Oh, we're gonna finish off the mod pools. HR2. Blackest luxury car. Luxury Time car only. This is like OD 9.1. Yep, it's higher OD. 6.5 base, yikes. Not as good as the sure original car, Colin Muse B, but Dash. yes, it is from Muse Dash. The graphics for this map are kind of cool, and mm -hmm. Muse Dash. It's also from uh, BMS of Fighters 2017, Leg Legenda Istameth. Interesting. Pronunciation name. is hard. Now the pattern, it's coming. MHK's got that act. Both players hit it. Let's go. Oh, so hmm. Ray fan. I knew I wasn't crazy yesterday saying that it was something to do with Mahjong. HD2. But, uh, yeah, HR2 okay, now. Well. Accuracy is slightly in the favor of Miko Tune, girl, but both players actually are tied on accuracy now. Green. Okay, well, the miss. Oh, an unfortunate one from MHK, yeah. Pretty close to. Oh, but then miss back from Miku it's in a girl. They have a slight combo advantage from earlier, but will that be enough the for higher. accuracy? Yeah, they have a higher accuracy by about uh, 0.6 percent right now. Oh, but another miss. Miss gonna make it closer. Oh, oh and no. another miss. Miss 100, then a miss. Could this be MHK's next point? They can hold on. Yeah. As we get to the calmer outer section, or rather normal difficulty outer section. Yep, that's gonna be another point for MHK. It's pretty close. Hi, SV! Miko Atsune asking how to get rid of nerves. You don't. You just have to deal with them, unfortunately. Is this high S SV? <laughs> Meh. HR1 is higher SV, but this one's still HR, so it's still decently high HR. It's SV.
Uh, wise words from MHK, I guess. <laughs> So that's all the mod picks done, except for free mod, but um, are we going to see no mod or are we going to see free mod here? Let's find out. Miku hit Tsune Girl's pick. Actually, as long as they don't pick no mod 1, I'm fine with this. And we're going to see free mod 1. HDHR? We'll see. I feel like, uh, based on MHK's HD performance, maybe no HD. I could definitely see MHK going HR, but we'll have to see if Miku at 10 year old decides to double mod or not. I think it's easier on HD, but... Yep. Well, I can FC it on HD, so it's definitely not that hard. But yeah, Miku at 10 girl, double mod. Oh, the accuracy drop though, as it's briefly in MHK's favor. The players managing the mono double section. Scores are very close. Yep, Miko Tsunigo pulling slightly ahead because of the, the uh, mod bonus, mod advantage. As MHK still has higher accuracy by about a percent. Getting hit in the pattern. Man, Miku do be acting. Yep, Miku ac Miku's accuracy is climbing actually pretty pretty well. Also, this is a very short map and only a minute 23, so we're almost done already. And Miku's both FC. HR skill is crazy. Both FCing. Yeah. Miku at Tuna Girl taking it with mod advantage, despite the lower accuracy. That's nuts. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> Miku's gaming. Miku is in fact gaming. Miku gaming girl. Oh, free mod too. Yeah, this is definitely the short version. Also, it's a cover, I think. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't pull me on that. <laughs> This one's also somewhat short at 2 minutes, a little longer than 3 mod 1, but it's definitely a lot faster, so we'll have to see if HR is doable for these players. It's doable, HR. What is wrong with art? <laughs> yeah, 197 base, I don't know HDHR. if it's... HDHR! <laughs> oh. Of course, this is Miku Atsune Girl. Young, if if I get a chance, I'll pick Nomad 5 in my 3 team match versus Swartz in a couple of weeks. So don't worry, Nomad 5 will hopefully get picked. Actually, was it picked yesterday in the 2v2? I think it might have been, but let me check. Oh, Miku, in the beginning, uh, had some... Yeah, it was. It was played yesterday. Drops. Building act. Once again, despite the accuracy being in MHK's favor, because of the double mod, Miku Atsune Girl has a lead. 
halfway through the map. So I'm 100 bucks, it's gonna make it closer. If someone misses here, it's gonna turn to this item. Yep, as we get to the last quarter of the map. Then Mod Advantage is really going to start pushing Miko to Integral ahead. Miku's HDHR performance is really good. Yeah. Like, it's nothing to scoff at. And both players FCing. But Mod good. Advantage, again, Miku to Integral brings in a match point. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she also HDHR. Oh, that's their personal best for Miku at Sine Girl. So, are we going to see Free Mod 3, Gypsy Tronic, or are we going to finally dive into the No Mods? I mean, the reason Gypsy Tronic is difficult on HD is because it's so slow, but, you know, with HHR, easier. Hmm. Alright, we're getting Noah to do. VTuber? Oh, VTuber time. Dense map. Take it slowly, this book is dangerous. Just gotta be careful in case MHK gets the VTuber buff. Oh boy. Although they're saying, okay, I lose lol GG in chat, so we'll have to see. Yep, this map is slow and dense. The, the finishers have a little bit of SV, but it's nothing that makes it difficult to read. Ready? And this time, compared to the other matches, we're actually skipping the intro to the map. Ooh, early miss from MHK. Okay, MHK's not having a fun time. Yeah, maybe there's a reason they said, uh, okay, they lose GG. This must not be a comfort pick for them. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks and bricks on blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to Yeah, I, I think this is pretty strong for Riku. Yeah, look at their accuracy. All just 99% compared to MHK's 90. I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks. One third section. Both players hit it all. Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks, whose socks, Sue's socks. Who sues, whose socks, Sue sues, Sue's socks. Who sees, who sues, whose new socks, sir. <laughs> That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes, crow comes, Joe slow, crow comes. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. But as we get over half a little less. A little less. This section is a little bit less dense than the starting section and what's coming up here in the last quarter of the map. Yeah, despite the rough start earlier on in the map, MHK is picking it back up, but Mikasuni Girl still FCing. And there goes MHK's combo again. Unfortunate. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. This is real. It's real. I'm not gonna finish it. It's too long. It's like really. As we get to the end of the map, does look like that's gonna be game. Miku at Girl taking this match six to two. Well played, to both players. Miku Zack on this. Man. Miku FC this too. Miku is insane. Indeed!
And now we get to see if the players want to do a tiebreaker showcase. Oh, this TV is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, this TV is a banger. Yeah. So our but, winner, Miku Hatsune, with him. Some amazing HDR, HR performance. Mm -hmm. Excellent performance on mods. Yeah, we actually saw a lot of mod picks, which was nice. Yep. Only the one... No, two no mods, actually. We had no mod 4 no mod 1. Or no mod 2. Oh, it looks like we also might be doing a Nomad 5 showcase after the Tiebreaker showcase. Oh, right, Kill the V. Yeah, Kill oh, the V is a don't fun mention map. mention Kill the V around Young Game. It's a fun map. <laughs> I'd much rather play Kill the V than, like, 2 3 Nomad 5, which. Yeah. Honestly, if I was pulling for Spring, I would have put Dakiti in 2 3, Kill the Beat. Well, maybe not kill the beat in two in three one, but I would have put yeah, uh, two three's current nomad five and like three two. Oh, we have a follower bot. Want to become famous? Oh my god, Ray just put a big ass text block. <laughs> yep, it's the another copy pasta for RT sounds. I guess we have to read it. Artie Sounds is a real deal composer that create lyric and arrangement that being able to reach their intended audience of a Toho fan. Of course Artie Sounds is not the only is not is not the only best, but one of the best Toho composer ever to be existed. Okay, Ray. And Dikini is hard until you practice it and actually think when playing it. Let's go and with the Kitty Slander. Yeah, don't don't slander the Kitty. Oh yeah, it's hard to act. That's given, but regardless. So the uh, FCs. Just noticing now, MHK is actually playing HR on this tiebreaker. And I mean, it's a showcase, so why not? What's MHK actually has the advantage due to mod advantage right now, despite accuracies. I'm actually not a bad act, especially in Yeah, 98.4 isn't bad by any means. First break yes. coming from Mika to any girl. I think if I do a tiebreaker showcase in my match versus Schwartz on this pool, I'm gonna try to HD this map. You think Schwartz will do it too, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if Schwartz will do it, but I want to try it at the very least. Yeah. It would be really funny if you didn't ban HD1 in your match. <laughs> well, I, there's two maps I'm considering banning, and either way, the other one's going to be a free point for them, so I'll have to think on it. Practice. I don't want to give too much away, because they're in the chat and listening right now. Evil Spy Shorts.
Is there a mod rule for showcase? I mean, it's a showcase, so maybe not. Well, I would hope that players aren't that... I don't know. I guess if you, you mean, want like, to FL the tiebreaker, you do you, but, like, do you really want to do that? I, it's called a showcase. Yeah, like, might as well try. <laughs> I guess. Oh, by try, I mean, like, not throw. Not, not try it, flashlight. <laughs> Yeah, it's your time if you want to spend it trying to HD FL whatever the tiebreaker or whatever map in a showcase, you do you. So, anyways, actually looking back at the match, both players did break combo, but MHK still has accuracy lead, mod advantage, and probably a higher max combo they've achieved so far. Coming to the last little bits of the tiebreaker showcase. MHK is solid lead here. Yeah, he's just chilling with his HR on this. Actually, out acting Mika Senegal in addition to the mod advantage. That was pretty clean from MHK. 990,000. 5 miss, 52 100s on the tiebreaker. That's actually a pretty impressive score. So now he gets the no mod 5, I believe. No yeah. beat time. MHK forgetting No Mod 3 existed. Rise Against Savior is a good song, yes. And into the map we had, obviously, both players No Mod since it's a No Mod map, but. I don't think you'd want to mod this anyways, this is kind of tough. Oh, Miku single tapping? Yeah. Well, it's 240, it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah. on the fast side. But... I wonder if Ark would single tap this. Duh. <laughs> Bro, he single taps like yeah, everything. He -taps Gypsy Tron. <laughs> he single taps like everything he can. And here comes the actual tough part of the map. Chips up Mika. Chips up both players. The rest of the map isn't that bad, so Mika and Senegal funny, another mess, but their accuracy advantage is keeping them well in the lead. Yeah, it does look like Nomad 5 would have went in favor of Mika and Cine Girl had they picked the map had they picked in the match. Pretty good score. And that is going to be it for this match. There was another match scheduled for five minutes from now.
No but unfortunately, it did have to get cancelled. Uh, one of the players has something come up and couldn't make it. So that means the next match will be at uh, 16 UTC in just over an hour. Crab Cow versus Hotman 1v1 on pool 4-1. So thank you for watching, everyone. Congratulations to Miki Hitsunigo for winning this match. I've been Senko-san, joined by Orki. See you next time.